Hello again, everybody. This is going to be a tutorial about how to follow wiring diagrams and how to wire the diagrams from the schematic. Here I have, this is an example of a breadboard. There are many different types of breadboards. Breadboards are the layout or where you put the components on. The fundamentals of it is there are connections from one point to another point. And this type of breadboard which I used years ago, these points are connected to each other. This point is connected to this point. This point is connected to this point. This is all one point over here. Now, <clears throat> in between, you see no connection. That means that's a place to place a component, as you see over here, to make the connection. So therefore, this is connected to this, this is connected to this, this is one connection. This is connected to this, wherever you see the white line, <clears throat> in this type of breadboard over here. As you see, all this is connected like a bus, a bus wire connected to this. We're going to go over the example of the schematic, we're going to follow it, we're going to go step by step. I'll try to simplify it as much as I can. Now... We always need a power source. A power source can be a, a battery. It could be an actual DC voltage power source. It could be an AC power source. An automotive that I always teach, it's the, the alternator, which is an AC generator that has rectified diodes that changes it to DC because that's what the battery needs. Over here, we have a plus. There's always a plus and there's always a minus for DC. Volts, 28 volts DC. If it's AC, it would, put, it would say volts AC. So, positive goes to the component. This shows that it's a connection. This shows that this is a source, these two circles over here. It goes to a component. This is the line, the wiggly line is a resistor, almost like showing resistance in a path. If you think about it, a straight line would be no resistance, but a wiggly line shows you it's some resistance. That's how they get the symbol. You could put this backwards, forward. It does not make a difference. It has no polarity, like a fuse, like I've been saying in videos about automotive. The value of this is 1K, and the, 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 the number of the resistor is R1. Fine. Now we go, there's two branches over here. This means there's a connection, this black dot over here. That means that this other side of the resistor goes to another resistor connected to R2. That value of R2 is 1K. At the same time, this point, which goes to R1 and R2, is also connected to R3. The value of that one is 1.5K. K means 1,000, so this will be 1,500 if you move the decimal point. Or if you keep it the way it is, 1.5K is easier to say. That's why we always say 1.5K, 1K. It's easier to say that than to say 1,000, 1,500, 2,500. That abbreviation is much easier. That's why we use that. So following this path, let's follow this path. We come back to this. We see this dot over here. That means there's a connection to this. It goes back to the negative of our source, a power source. Going back to the other branch, this is a branch over here. It's called a node, actually, this dot. There's a second branch for it, like we said. There's a terminal over here that we're going to call it A. If we come over here, one side of it we said goes to the goes to the R1, which is connected to R2, and that is important. You know why? Because R1 has two sides. When you connect this, you have to make sure that you connect this side of R3 to the side of R1 that is also connected to R2. Why do I say that? Because R1 has two sides. What happens if you connect R3 to the other side? of R1 going to the plus. You connect, then you are connecting it to the wrong side. So again, in conclusion or summary, to summarize, I'm sorry, to summarize, R3 goes to, the, to R1, which is connected to R2. 
Okay? Again, the other side of R3 goes to this terminal A on the breadboard, or we signify it by A. Now, we, this is called a current meter, millimeter, milliameter. It measures current. In order for it to measure current, it has to be inside the circuit, connected inside in series. It's like you break out these two points and you put this inside of it. That's what it is. So therefore, now, with this, and I'm going to conclude this video and, and continue in another one.